Ikigai driven, follow your passion. Oh my god, 600 horsepower! All right guys, so today we're gonna to be installing the king bearings. These are the king main bearings. First, you wanna make sure that the bearings are 100% clean. Give them a quick wipe down. These lint-free rags aren't that lint-free. You want to make sure that there's no oil or any contaminants on the girdle and the block. This way, when you seat the bearing in, you have less of a chance for the bearing slipping on you. These king bearings are standard size and these are standard non-race bearings. Non-race bearings are hard two-layer bearings that are made for stock engines to run hundreds of thousands of miles on without needing to be replaced. They're great for longevity in stock engines, but their hardness makes them less forgiving in race applications. Race bearings, on the other hand, are softer three-layered bearings that are designed to absorb the shock of race applications. These bearings are not great for longevity in the engines and may need to be replaced more often. You also want to make sure you clean the bearings themselves. They might come with some type of oil that prevents rusting, so you want to make sure that there is no oil on the bearings. All right, so the bearings have tangs on them. So what you want to do is you put the bearing in, line up the tang, and there you go, the bearing is in. We're gonna do all the bearings for the girdle first. bearing up so all the bearings for the girdle have been installed now we're going to put the bearings onto the block you see the tang is over there so we just want to line the tang up So the last bearing is in. So now that all the bearings are in, we're actually gonna take the girdle and put it back on. You wanna make sure these dowel pins sit properly into the block. All right, so now we're gonna put the girdle back onto the block. You want to make sure you put everything on carefully to not score the block. Then you want to tap the girdle with a rubber mallet until it's nice and flush. Now you want to tighten the girdle bolts. You want to tighten the girdle bolts down to 22 foot bounds. Here's a diagram from the Honda service manual. Now that all the girdle bolts are on, we want to start measuring the clearances. And all right, the way to do that is you want to get your micrometer. This is a two to three inch micrometer. And you see this zeroes out at two inches. So we're measuring 
the main journals, which are these. One, two, three, four, five. Crank on the table. We're gonna use the micrometer. To measure the size, double check one more time. And then you wanna lock the measurement. Now you place your micrometer in your vice grip. You want to make sure it's not, it's snug enough that it doesn't move, but it's not that tight that it distorts the measurement. So remember we said we're using two to three inches. Take out your dial board gauge. You want to find something that resembles two inches, which would be that one. And you want to zero the dial board gauge to this measurement. So you want the lowest point to be zero, the smallest point to be zero. And if you guys don't remember how to use the micrometer, there's gonna be a link in the description. I think we'll just lock it right there. Double check it. Counterclockwise is bigger, clockwise is smaller. So this Smallest point seems to larger, small, small, small. Yep. So we've zeroed our dial bore gauge. Now we're putting the dial bore gauge into the bearing. And we want to make sure we don't drop it into the lowest point of the bearing. Once you get your measurement, write it down. Start on the next main journal, mic it, put in the vice grip, little dial bore gauge, and then measure the clearances on the block. And you want to repeat these steps for the remaining main journals. What up guys, it's actually been a few days since where we left off. The main bearing to cran clearance uh, still a little bit too loose. The measure it's measuring anywhere from 0 0.0025 inches to 0 0.003 inches, and you need, according to the Honda specifications, you need to be under 0 0.002 inches. So we got another set of King bearings. These are oversized bearings. They're oversized by 0 0.001. See if I can open this with one hand. Since we're going with an oversized bearing, these are actually race bearings. All right, guys. <clears throat> After a few a few tries of getting the main bearing to crank journal clearances correctly, so right now it looks like we have the perfect amount of clearance in each bearing. That's going to end the episode for today. Next time we're going to be measuring the piston, the rod journals to the crank. Again, this is, thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. This is my first time building a motor, so we're going to run into these problems. Hopefully at the end of all this, we have a running motor. And guys, please don't forget to hit the notification button. Peace.